What's up Cloud Gamers? Welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel. So in today's video, we're going to be giving you guys a showcase of the Razer Edge running Cloud Gaming. We're going to be showcasing Xbox Cloud Gaming on here, GeForce Now, Boosteroid, and Shadow PC. So if that's something you guys were interested in, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. Let's get into this video. So we'll start with Xbox Cloud Gaming. And on here, you'll see that I have Halo Infinite running. So we're going to go to settings and I'll talk to you guys about some of my biggest complaints here. The thing with Xbox Cloud Gaming and this device is that it doesn't utilize the whole screen. You guys have seen me do a video showcasing the beauty when the cloud gaming platforms take advantage of this whole screen. Well, this platform does not do that, right? So again, we here in video settings and you have no options to set the resolution to take advantage of this whole screen. So what you're stuck with, and I'll show you guys here in a bit. So you have this right here where there's a lot of bezels on the side and again, it's not taking advantage of the whole display, which is kind of a bummer because again, I feel like the screen is beautiful and it's an opportunity wasted. The other thing to take into consideration is that this is supposed to have rumble support, which is haptic feedback, but Xbox Cloud Gaming does not take advantage of that. So something to notice here is you can see when I tap the trigger, it's pretty instant. So hardly any latency for sure. I'm in a really difficult place here and I keep dying, so I apologize. But again, just want to showcase this off. Halo Infinite Xbox Cloud Gaming runs pretty well on this device. I just wish that it took advantage of the whole screen here. But yeah, this is Halo Infinite running on this device. So next, let's take a look at Boosteroid and we're gonna play a game like God of War again. Boosteroid, if you guys are watching this, please update your app. It's kind of ridiculous when you're trying to play mobile that you still have to face your phone this way. And there's just a lot of things with the mobile app that is just not solid. For instance, trying to get into a game, sometimes it takes up to five minutes just trying to get into a mobile game and the mobile app here on Booster is not the best, but again, just want to showcase what this looks like running this device. All right, so this is what I'm talking about, right? Just to get into the game, I have to exit all these little things here, right? I have to come to Steam and search for the game that I want to play. It's just ridiculous. So God of War, we're going to click this. Right, we're gonna accept the term. I mean, look, look, look at this. Just to play this game. If this is an easier way, guys, please let me know. And then we're gonna hit play now. Hit agree. I mean, this is madness. But yeah, that's how we get into the game. We have to go through all that hoopla just to play this game. And something you notice with Booster Roid here is that you can't set the display to take advantage of the whole screen, which is kind of a bummer because this is kind of like a GeForce Now service, right? So you expect with GFN and Shadow PC having the ability to set the resolution to match that Booster Roid will have it as well, but it doesn't have it. So you're stuck like the Xbox Cloud Gaming with these bezels here. And it doesn't immerse you in the game as, you know, a platform like GFN or Shadow PC does by giving you the advantage to play with the whole screen. But just want to showcase God of War and showcase that this actually works. When it comes to latency issues, you hardly get any latency. As I tap the button here, you guys will see it's pretty spot on. And gameplay for God of War is pretty good as well. The only issue I have is just in the beginning, the mobile app. Definitely needs an update here in Boosteroid, but as far as like performance and gameplay, this runs really well. And again, the beauty with Boosteroid is that they have games that other cloud gaming platforms don't have. As you guys know, God of War was in GFM, but they took that down, but you can actually come here and still play it. Most Sony games like Spider-Man is on here as well. So again, you can use this service to play games that GFN doesn't have. But just know it's capped at 1080p you don't get all the fancy features that GFN has as well. But again, just want to showcase this. Look at this visually. It's really stunning and hardly any latency here. All right. So here we have GFN and I have to say this service alone just might be worth it to get this device because it takes advantage of a lot of features of this device. Again, the white screen, the 144 hertz screen. The service takes advantage of most of it, but you go here, you go to settings, you go to GeForce Now, you go to stream quality, and here you should be able to set the frame rate. 
So it tells you this, but I would say the recommended frame rate here is this one right here. So if you guys are trying to take advantage of the white screen, I know it says 720p, but this looks gorgeous as well. So make sure that you come here and set it and go to frame rate. Why not get 120 FPS here? So we're going to set that and then we're going to open up a game and showcase what this looks like. All right. So as you can see, this is Cyberpunk 2077 running on this and you'll see here it's taking advantage of the whole screen and bringing the fps goodness on here take a look at how gorgeous this looks again would highly recommend that if you guys have this device definitely check out gfn because you get an awesome widescreen aspect ratio here and it looks absolutely gorgeous and stunning again it is 720p but my goodness look at the way this looks Gives you the whole screen advantage here. Night City looks gorgeous as you've seen right here. I have people shooting me. Trying to see where they shoot me from. Oh, looks like we alerted the cops. And this is one that I would definitely highly recommend, especially if you guys are thinking about getting this device or if you guys already have this device, make sure you check out GFN. Make sure you have the proper aspect ratio and you should be good to go here. All right, so here we are, and this is Shadow PC. I don't know if you guys have used Shadow PC lately, but they have been doing an incredible job to make the user experience better. Mobile devices, for instance, you can use now your fingers and you can get a cursor. Normally you would have to just touch wherever you want to go, but this makes navigation so much easier on this device. But you'll see here, it's easy to navigate. And I'm going to just test a game like Spider-Man running here. And again, this takes advantage of the whole widescreen real estate here, which is such a beautiful thing, especially like compared to other cloud gaming service that I've showcased here. But we're going to be testing out Spider-Man. Let's get right into this. All right, fellas. So this is Spider-Man running on Shadow PC. So I've been having a little issue with this game. I don't know if you guys have seen there, but I do get these stutters. And it is Shadow PC. I've tried to contact them, haven't heard back from them. So Shadow, if you're watching, get back at me. So yeah, this game runs beautiful. Again, takes advantage of the widescreen display. The beautiful thing with this is that you don't have to set it. It automatically detects that you have this aspect ratio and you're good to go. But yeah, the gameplay is really flawless on here. And again, you can take advantage of the 120 FPS as well. So great things here. If you guys have this device, would highly recommend that you give Shadow PC a look. And the cool thing about this is that games that GFN doesn't have, you can just download it on Shadow PC and play those games. So again, with Shadow PC, you should be covered. You should be able to get most Steam games on this device using this platform. So again, just want to highlight this and show you guys what this actually looks like running on this device. This is such a good time. And I'm loving my experience. I right, fellas, just want to highlight this and show you guys what this device can do when it comes to cloud gaming. Let me know. Are you guys convinced to give this one a look? Are you guys going to pass on this one? I right, fellas, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Till next time, peace out.